so to be honest i was gonna make this a solo kill to diamond kind of video but after grinding for some time then hitting that thing i realized i was not that guy you're not that guy pal trust me you're not that guy maybe if it was back in the days i would probably hit diamond already but no it's impossible i've officially given up trying to solo kill to diamond i know some of you guys are gonna say oh it's a skill issue but yeah you're right my aim isn't the best not the worst it's just right to get the job done don't get me wrong though i still be trying to play rank now and then but not that often because i'm 100 percent sure i'm not moving from plat 3 i've been stuck on plat 3 for a week now so i'm done trying to grind past that but i do have some spice clips from those games i want to show you the guys some l moments some w moments maybe mostly else but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the vid so in this first moment you can see my team is throwing we just landed and they are already pushing a whole team i was gonna brainlessly follow as well but i'm not confident in my re 45 or hemlock skills to wander through a whole team so as usual when my teammates died on i just did you know i could never understand people who just make aggressive plays by themselves with no comms maybe something is wrong with me because my brain can't process it then i die gruesomely to a rotating team camping the zip line i swear i didn't want to eat it but i took the chance anyways yeah you can't really see the disappointment and anger in my face but i'm telling you it's there if you look close enough then after dying like that bangler comes through the finishing touch oh my god bro oh hell no man what the fuck man so in this next moment we were forced our way into the ring but while i was quickly thinking of a plan bloodhound just said YOLO! then i had to quickly get to him before my chances of winning went out the window luckily my aim was on point because usually it isn't but in that moment my adrenaline kicked in my almost rolled the entire squad Then of course we brought home the dub with a lot of RP. Nice. I'm trying to fuck you, but I was shooting him. Then I threw an R star, and that bitch like it, it stopped him from going towards you. Oh, jump on me. I, I had fucking no chance. So in this next moment, I got this door stuck that casually has their mic open. Talking most stuff I don't want to hear. This can really get annoying sometimes, like I don't know how some players do it. I personally rely on my ears a lot when playing Apex, so I just had to mute them. But I prefer dealing with players like these, that I can unmute and get comms from, than dealing with people who don't give comms at all. Now, I need to stop chasing these care packages. I can't tell you the countless amount of times I've got a rampage in it. From the start of season 14, I can literally count on one hand how many times I've seen a creeper in the care pack. It's really disappointing. But I must say, with all these OP abilities and crack guns now in floor loot, I'm kinda glad the creeper is this hard to get. At least now people have to rely more on skill other than abusing something to him. I'm not saying there isn't a lot of things people are still abusing in game, but I'm just glad it got cut down a bit. So I don't know what this team's game plan was, but they sat there behind their Fortnite shield. The entire time we were at the beast rolling players, they were trying to grief us with G7s and charge rifle. They could easily push with Seer and clean us up, but they decided to just play weird and really passive. But hey, more RP for me. If you reached the end of the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I do live stream on this channel. I can't really give a specific date, you know how life is. I stream whenever I can, but I really do try to put in that extra effort to stream at least once a week. But anyways, 
Thank you for watching.